That's that's gonna get boring. It is. But people watch Minecraft. Ooh, yes! Yes, yes this cutscene! Yes! Falling, falling. <gasps> <Yes>. Holy! <laughs> <laughs> Dude. I forgot Bruce. about that. Link, help! <laughs> what voice do you use for Bruce? Nappa? No, uh, I use, uh, the Geico salesman guy. Ugh, rough landing. <laughs> Suddenly he freezes. I and think I might have broke scratch. something. Hey, Link, seriously, didn't everyone teach you to land without crash? His mouth. Tiny loft wings. Whoa! <laughs> but birds, tiny birds, what, what are they? The birds, Nappa, get over it! <laughs> yes, the only person beefier than him. What is that thing? Voice crack. But, how, wh why, what, what, where am I? <laughs> the facial expressions in this game. Yeah, I know. What's going on here? Ever since Zelda vanished, you've been zipping in and out of town. Uh, yeah, all in a hurry. Come on, Link. <laughs> give me some of your thoughts. <laughs> so I figured I'd tell you, tell you, and you might lead me to Zelda. What if Link was committing suicide <laughs> by jumping off his bird, <laughs> and he followed him? <laughs> but this is so wild. Seriously, what is that thing over there? <laughs> And what's all with all these trees? Is it me There's or does, so many? Do what? his sound effects sound like a monkey? <laughs> they do. Hey, hey and listen. <laughs> <laughs> He's Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it to me straight. I can take it. Where are we? Is Zelda here? What's the deal with my with this place? If there's supposed to be nothing below the clouds, what's all this? You're my bro. It's okay. We can help Link you. talks for the third time in all of Zelda. Okay, he's not doing charades there. He's talking. <laughs> It'd be funny if they had a charade scene. No. <laughs> and the birds. Now he... He looks like Android 16. Groose is Android 16 <laughs> from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, whoa. You're kind of imploding my mind right now. <laughs> I'm giving... <laughs> but, but I think I know what you're saying. If I've got this right, Zelda's down here somewhere and she's okay. There's a bird on his palm door. His eyes and lips are so creepy. Then let's go get her, my boy. Dude, he sounds like that that sound he makes, duh huh, huh, it sounds like a Grotus. No, not Grotus. From, the, from Super Mario Super pa uh sorry, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Grotus? Yeah, is it Grotus? No, Gros Grotus is the main bad guy. The Dude, other guy. That game was so fun. The boss is so hard, though. You know, Link? The last boss? It's sort of alright down here. This music. <laughs> yes, this place <laughs> needs a name. <laughs> yeah, a name fitting for this rugged, adventure uh, adventurous wilderness. From now on, we'll call it Gruce Land. And also the music is off key. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Anime fall. <laughs> <laughs> Shrinks back in disgust. So let me see if you've got this right. <laughs> I'm giving him Elvis. The old lady living in the temple down the road from here knows where Zelda is. I see. Right, Link. Thanks for getting me here. You've done a great job. You can head home. <laughs> Yamsha, I'll defeat Frieza all by myself. <laughs> Big Yamsha, Groose so will handle the search from Zelda from here on. From here. Yep, I'll I'll track her down, save her, and then give her a lift back to Skyloft. His loft wing won't come down here. Problem. Yeah. He needs a sailcloth. Well, that won't even help him technically. He's too heavy because he still has no idea how to get up. Yeah. And he doesn't even have a weapon, unless you count his pompadour, in which he could stab people with, I guess. Nah, he uses his fists like Ganondorf. He, he does have magical powers of pompadourness. Pompadourin... Pompadourin... What? He has a pompadour and he's pompous. <laughs> pompous brat. <laughs> okay, so let's talk to one of our favorite characters. What do you have on your map? This guy? Oh, a blurry picture. 
That's no, that's a really blurred out ver picture of the map. Oh, hey, bud. Whoa, oh, wait, whoa, sorry, whoa. sorry. I said I said last episode of the episode before. Whenever he says bud, you have to replace it with my boy. My boy. So when when he says bud, you say my boy. Okay, let's do this. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. And oh, hey, has to be replaced with uh, Wind Waker, King of the Red Lions. Hey, <laughs> my boy. We meet again. In a hurry as usual, eh? He's Canadian. He's. <laughs> yep, yep we, I've, been I've been keeping, keeping busy, busy too, too, eh? Keep... <laughs> you have to put A at the end of everything. <laughs> keeping out the wonders of the world, eh? No, no, eh? Hey, you wanted to hear some about my research? Suddenly you became Japanese. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, my boy. Prepare to be amazed. I made a huge discovery while, while out doing my field research. So get a load, get a load of this. Apparently, there's wall, there are walls and statues that respond to butterf butterfly tones. <laughs> Wild, right? Want to know more? Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, that's the kind of archaeological enthusiasm I like to see. Oh, but before we get into the fascinating details of walls and statues, <laughs> there's something I'd better I ask you about. I bud. just love walls. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of a blessed butterfly? <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. All right. My boy. <laughs> Let me jump straight to the point. Ancient tomes mention... He's looking at his map when talking about tomes. Mention these butterflies f flapping around in packs by certain walls and statues. Hi, I'm a butterfly. I like flying by walls and statues. <laughs> it seems like these butterflies have some kind of sixth sense. Seven, actually. <laughs> they are detecting, uh, something. <laughs> Want to hear more? Please. What are you interested in? Walls or statues? De <laughs> definitely walls. <laughs> walls are way more interesting. Walls, wait. Wait, what do statues do? Oh, it's I know. It's just the... I, I know. It. Statues. Hey! Yeah, spring forth from behind the goddess walls. He likes putting goddess on most of... Before everything. That is the spirit! But sadly, that is as far my research has gotten me. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. Thank you. Goodbye. Have you noticed that Link's hat phases through his shield? Yeah. He needs to get that checked out at the doctor's. No, more like you need to go like to a lab or something like that so they can study it. Link, Link's been going through some issues lately. He can't help that his hat's clippy. Clippy. It, just listen, Link goes through issues. Hey, and, look, it's a wall! And we shouldn't ridicule him for those issues. Okay, let's let's go in and it's one interesting door. Go to I think my least favorite part. No, it used to be my least favorite part. Now I have it down. Dog. Which part is this? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Granny! Yeah. You're messing with me. Say it again. I dare you. I only I only speak the truth. No, I, I did that voice, but it took too long. You are not the one that who will save her. The spirit maiden, your Zelda, can only be saved by another. It has been his fate to do this thing, and in doing so, save us. As it was decided long before you were brought crying into this world. Crying? <laughs> Shut it, Granny! You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you'd know that if anyone's going to save Zelda, it's Groose. How could it not be me? Plus, if it ain't me, why would I even be here? If I'm not uh, if I'm not up to doing the job of being the hero, just who is? I just realized if he became a knight, he'd have to wear one of Link's like the Link hat, and with the pompadour, it'd be sticking straight up. No, you could wear a hat on top of that. It'd it was be... like it behind it a little. I mean, it's yeah. not like. I mean, that need to look like look at the positioning of it on Link's head. Oh, now I get you. Link, Granny here has been trying to tell me you're go you're gonna be the big hero who rescues Zelda. Actually, I already am. What a joke! Look, uh, look. All I've heard so far is a bunch of blabbing about destiny, and that's a load of garbage. I know you, and you're no hero, shrimp. He just called you a shrimp. Wah! Are you gonna take that? You were just called a shrimp. Oh, I'll I'll show him later. I got the girl. He can say whatever he wants. He still called you a shrimp. A shrimp no who's got a girl. Fact. Impa. Wait, what? What'd you say? No escaping the fact. You were just called a shrimp. Yeah, but I have the girl. So, so it's fair. No. I think it is. You were just called a shrimp. Okay, well, I'll deal with him <laughs> later. I'll blow him up. Or, no, I'll poison him. Poison. 
voice in it. <laughs> it's super effective. Play the harp. Yay! <laughs> Press up, opposite of Fee. I honestly found the harp one of the uh, most annoying things in the game. I actually found that it tunes itself to uh, the areas. Really? Yeah. So if you like play it to the tempo of the area, it'll actually match. Oh, match the over braid. You learn fast. Now for your next lesson. <laughs> We're playing, um, we play harp. Pals play harp. Yay. <laughs> okay. Her voice is pretty bad. You're losing it, bro. You be quiet. Disco lights! Man, if only there was a fountain there, it'd look pretty cool. Uh, if only there was some electric guitar in this song. That's more of a banjo. That's a banjo. No, it's, a, it's actually just a country guitar. But, I guess the fact does remain. Everything is cooler with electric banjo. Yes. Or, le uh, or um, electric kazoos. <laughs> yeah, and vuvuzelas. You can't forget vuvuzela. <laughs> My vuvuzela! <laughs> what do you mean, Methuselah? No. Vavuzela. Ooh. We saw the. Oh, I found out. Okay, you know how uh, when you get to the Lane Ru oh, Temple of Time, it's blocked, and they say they've gone to the other side. Uh -huh. If you fly the 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 beetle up, you'll actually see that see it there, unactivated. That's pretty cool. I wish you Ooh. saw Zelda and Impa. That'd be pretty cool. That would've been such a glitch. That'd be amazing. They might have been there, and I just couldn't reach it. I mean, I couldn't because it would time out as soon as I got over there. Gate of Time. Actually, it looks like the, uh... What's that? The Rosetta Stone. <laughs> <laughs> you you can now learn Hylian, or the ancient language. And now Link can be a magician. <laughs> so you guys have done your emergency protection stuff like earthquakes, right? What are you supposed to do? Get under a table. Is there a table? Yeah. No. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's shaking. I feel the seal. I fear the seal. I, f I fear the seal has been broken. I feel the seal. I expected that it would react to your summoning the gate, but I never imagined the sh sh the shield <laughs> would break so quickly. <laughs> Man, her face looks like it's made out of wood. Either that or like bread dough. <laughs> <laughs> and also, no, I'm not sure if you noticed it. That that can wait. <laughs> Did you, did you notice, okay, the light's coming through here. Uh-huh. That TP thing is acting as a sundial, and that is keeping this track of seconds. Where's the shadow? Uh, you can normally see it, but it's dark right now. And also the braids are keeping track of years. In the official, Zelda has confirmed it. So I'm not just making this up. Dude, that's one big door. Put that in your scarf and knit it. <laughs> 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 I, heard, I heard that on a um, Battle Block Theater. <laughs> it's genius. It is. Food so stupidly delicious it'll blow your face to the back of your head. <laughs> Dude, that cutscene. <laughs> What's with all the shaking? Dude, you're a little bit behind the times. Now, well, I guess obviously, if you've lived on an island in the sky all when, your life, when I'm when I'm scared, I too knit invisible scarves. <laughs> I guess if you lived up in the sky your entire life, you wouldn't really know True. what an earthquake is, let alone uh, although, what an Earth is. <laughs> does the island does Skyloft kind of move up and down gently, or is it, is it perfectly nah. still? Because if it what moves, would it be like during a storm? Amazing. The entire island might move. Up to Yugen. Hi, Zorkin. It's funny. Sword how, it's funny how just flashing it once stops all your momentum. Oh, I thought of a cool move for Smash 4. What? Shield bashing. Reflector, recovery option, counter. 
They still need to give Ganondorf the backhand. And? Ooh, it's a whale! <laughs> I actually like this boss. I just, think this, it's this stupid. Face is, this is... <laughs> a face that only a mom could love. <laughs> Be imprisoned. Be imprisoned. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. I knew it, the seal has given way, and Fido is coming up the hill. I'll explain it later, but now is the time for action. How is she talking from that far? It's like a thousand feet. I don't know. <laughs> I always do that. See, my, <laughs> my thumb overlaps the one button. Having a seizure there. I tried to shield bash you it. You can't shield bash it. You actually can. You, what? Yeah, you can. Watch. Just as long as the foot doesn't land on you. I had no idea. You can shield bash everything. There's actually an easy way to do this that I will show you. It's like super easy to defeat this boss if you do this one method. I mean, easier than it already is. Dude, I just realized that, like, his toes look almost like Mewtwo's. Only Mega Mewtwo, why? Okay. Now, when the wind starts going... Just run. Up. And the giant whale just learned how to army crawl. You mean slither. Slither. It's a snake whale. A snail? Well... <laughs> Well, I guess that kind of fits, but it like not what we want. <laughs> Look at the slime on top. I guess you could, uh, I guess you could spell it differently. Yeah, Snail. like S, like S N A L E. You missed. I meant to hit that. I I know I I did that slow, but that's easy way to defeat that boss. I'm oh, sure it doesn't allow you to do it in the second one. It does. You you have to do a running. So you know if you swing and you swing the sword, you do a jump attack. Mm -hmm. If you do that, if you hit it once, you can get all do the rest of the hits. If you just jump, it'll knock you off. He yeah, is. this boss is a joke, even compared to last boss. I can't see. Now go on. You can't touch him when he's red, because every everybody <laughs> glowy red stuff is always bad. <laughs> Battle Block Theater is an amazing game. You should check it out. I believe it's on... Is it on Steam? I th it should be on Steam. Yeah, check it out on Steam. I think it's only a couple dollars. I, I don't have it, so I wouldn't You don't know. even have Steam. Aw. Oh! Yeah, Death Water. <laughs> we got... We killed the snail! <laughs> you killed a snail. Shampoo the snail. Mom, he hurt me. <laughs> mom. Now where does your mom's not here? Okay, tell me if you can spot the um imprisoning spike or whatever in all the scales. Can you see it? It's right there. Oh, well, it kind of it should be in the middle, I guess. Yeah, middle. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's inside joke. What would happen if we just left it there? I don't know. I don't think you could progress in the game, but... No, I mean, will it time out and he'll come back out? We really don't have time to figure it out, but... Yeah. That'd be funny, though. It would be funny. It just comes back out, man. Do this again. It comes out and he's immediately more powerful. Style. That's not style, dude. You obviously don't know what style is. We have to do a downward Triforce. Not really Triforce, but a triangle. Why did it? You, you stink Why did at that this. not work? Why did that not work? You really stink. At I'm this. just not used to it. Weird symbol that could mean anything. It's a triangle, Vegeta. It is the symbol that doesn't do anything. Dude, Link's boss in this game. Other games, he's just really derpy. 
Twilight the Princess. most derpy being Wind Waker. Really? Derpy, I, I derp, would say derp, Twilight derp, Princess. Derp. In all the cutscenes, even ones with like a tremendous feeling that everybody else would be crying, he's just like, what? He's Toon Link. Of course he's no. gonna derp. No. Oh. Twilight Princess. Derpy's gonna derp. At least he feels emotion. This LP is totally like 20% cooler since I'm in it. Yeah, so I sh so if it is, then I'll get 20% more views, right? Should. Okay. If if I get no views, <laughs> <laughs> then that's your problem. Myth busted. People just couldn't handle my awesome. I like the art style, art direction in this game. Eh, meh. It's to me, it's just kind of meh. Return to the seal temple. So we will go to the How seal temple. How on earth does she get up there so fast? I think she jumped. That's what. That's like the weirdest hat in existence. I know. It's like a giant version of Grus's pompadour. Yeah, he should. He should love her. I think he's like. She's just like my grandma. <laughs> Five days later, Only they make is, it up. She doesn't have red hair. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a stab, a uh, stab, a slab of cold stone. For now, it is sleeping. <laughs> Rousing it from its slumber would re require great, great, great power. <laughs> or baby, it would also require yes, baby. I believe a shot of holy light from your skyward sword might just do the trick. Or one look skyward from Batman. Strike. Yes, or Captain Falcon just like looking at it. Punches it. It's a Snorlax, so we have to use the polka flute. Ah, uh, sorry to disappoint you, boy. My boy. But but for now, your, so your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. You must go grind in that area of tall grass and catch Pokemon. A sacred flame is, hi is hidden in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify the so your sword in their heat. Okay. Only after your blade has been tempered by these fires will it be fully imbued with the great power for which you search. Just so you know, the, the song Through the Fire and the Flames by Dragon Force is about this game. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> or this game is about the song. Could go both ways. Wait, she just said we should return to Skyloft for what? Is Link wearing eyeliner? Is Zelda wearing eyeliner? Well, that's okay if she's wearing eyeliner, but Link? No. Is Gru's angry? It suddenly looks like a girl. Is he wearing a v-neck? <laughs> I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me, well, there's nothing I can do to, he to help Zelda. I'm useless. So I'm gonna go jump off that <laughs> cliff over there. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Ah, oh, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in all this. Dude, I can push open these doors with one hand. He walks hand. like you. <laughs> walks like a certain Elpir, which I was about to say the name of. Link, go now. Trust in fate and to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. Wow, these, these lines are just so... Deep, they just hit me right here. AKA cliche. Not! Ooh, Fee! I love Largely you. unimpressed. I love Fee. The Ballad of the Goddess. No, 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 just stop. Don't ever impersonate that voice, ever. I am doing it. <laughs> no. Based on my projections, this is likely the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony. I'm not impersonating her, I'm just making sure that people know that she's not using any tone. I calculate an 85% probability that someone associated with the, with the Academy will be able to provide additional information about that, this song. That was done in one breath. <laughs> A whole sentence. <laughs> I can make it. I can do the entire sentence in one breath. Zelda's the mas- I mean, Fee's the master of run-on sentences. Okay, we're actually going to end it here. In the next episode- down. Wait, what? What's with the text? What? Uh -huh. was, did you see that text? Does it normally do that? No. What? Um, it's never done that before. Shout out to Lone Conwolf. <laughs> For dot dot dot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure other people have said that. No, he used it the most. In the course of history, someone else said it. What is that? Coffee. He's. It is him wishing he had a cup of coffee. Okay. 
I'll take your word for it. Anyway, they probably don't have coffee in Hyrule. I'm sorry, not Hyrule. Anyway, <laughs> in the next episode, we'll go back to, up to Skyloft because we need to for the quest. And Again. we'll get the rest of the side questy stuff. Side um, questy stuff. It, the, the side quest stuff is going to be shorter because I'm going to be cutting between just chests and grad two crystals. This episode, I didn't want to do that because the fact I had a guest over and, you know, we don't want to rush that. 50 minute episode. This is going to take forever to upload. Lovely. Dude. I ha I'm handing Shadow Ganon the controllers or Ryan. The dance. <laughs> there, oh, there, is one, locked. there is one episode in um in <laughs> Elden <laughs> where I was actually singing along with the music while having Link dance. Dude, this is awesome. I found it when I was playing. It's so funny. <laughs> Wee. Okay, you can have the controller back. I just wanted to do that. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Shadow Ganon. I will leave the link to his page on the description. Actually, I'll leave the link to your Facebook page, too. No, not my Facebook page. No? No. I don't want people to actually know the secret identity of Batman. Oh, true. I forgot about that. But you just don't do that. You should make another Facebook page dedicated to... That'd, your... be, that'd be cool. Okay. But maybe. Probably not. Yeah, Any. anyway, we'll, we'll see you next oh i'll see you at next episode since he won't be here that's what you think i'm batman <laughs> he'll always be with us i'm just gonna end the episode now yeah it's probably a good idea bye <laughs> <laughs>